Hi everybody! I'm in New York, as you know. Um, it's day 96 of 100 for me. I can't believe that I'm up to day 96 and I only actually know that because Lilu said it and I started the same day as her. So she said day 96 and I went, oh, wow. So I, I've done what I wanted to do but um, I'll tell you all about that on day 100. I'm really um, excited about that. Now, today, remember when I went to sleep last night, I was so exhausted. I can't even tell you how long I slept today. Okay, A New Earth. Now, remember, I'm so into this book. It's making me question a lot of stuff. It, uh, it talks to you about why you do things and your ego. And it put a question to, to me and it was like, why do you, or it doesn't say it like this, but this is how I've interpreted it, talking about your ego and why you do certain things, why you wear certain clothes, why you do whatever. And it was saying how that what you perceive yourself to be isn't your inner self, it's actually all the ideas that people have put on you, your past experiences, like everything collected. So it's really just a whole jumble of thoughts. It's not your inner self. And so when we carry handbags or um, wear designer labels or whatever, are we doing that because we love them or are we doing it because of the reactions that other people get? I have to say that when I buy clothes, because I love clothes, I really do, I love fashion and clothes, and I really questioned myself over this because I thought, why do I do that? And then I thought Paul has always said to me that he likes how I dress because like I might go into the gap or you know, sometimes even when I was in Vail, I went into Target and bought some stuff and like all different stores. And then I might have one really nice piece that I mix it all up with. So I tend to think that I buy what I really love. I wouldn't like to think I was doing it for the approval of anyone else because quite often people say to me that I dress um, differently and they love how I dress, but they couldn't do it themselves. So I think I just dress for me. And I think it's so interesting though because when we were in Aspen last year Zoe my daughter collects ribbons you know like with names on it and she probably is a bit labely she likes the, the labels and looking at all that so she was going into like Gucci and Prada and all those labels um, which which I, I like but it isn't really my speed and it's very expensive what's more anyway so she was going in although there's no doubt there are some beautiful pieces in there um, anyway, she went into the stores and they would give her some ribbon and then they'd put it in like a little bag for her and she walked out and she was carrying all these little bags like she was some princess that had, you know, <laughs> stuff from all these stores and she said to me, Mum, it's so funny the way now when I go into the other stores they treat me so much better because I've got those bags. I don't know if that was a good lesson to learn at that age or not or I don't know. Anyway, I thought that was interesting but when I was on the plane yesterday I told you about a movie when I flew over from Australia to LA I watched all these movies I watched a lot of those world sort of art house movies you know the ones that you might not always get to see and in the front of my book I had no paper and I wanted to go and buy this movie right and I hadn't started reading this book at the time so in here I wrote the name of it it's called as it is in heaven and it's Danish so what I'll do is I'll put, you know, wherever it is, that side, is it that side? No, I think it might be, that, oh, anyway, you know where to look if you need to see some written information. It's called Sasom i Himalen. I know that I can't pronounce Danish and nor am I saying I can, but I'll write it down. But the first word should have a little circle over the A, but it had subtitles and all that. And the, it's about a guy who was a famous conductor and he has these this heart attack and he decides that he wants to live a simple life he doesn't necessarily want to have all the glamour and the and and knowing what he's going to do for the next 10 years so he goes and he moves back to his hometown where he had had a, a childhood where kids used to tease him because he played the violin and stuff so he goes back and he just buys the old school building and no one really remembers who he is and they approach him to teach the church choir and he's like mm, you know he doesn't really want to teach the church choir but they're all so endearing and oh my god this movie is beautiful there is a lot in that so much so that I I feel like whoever 
made that movie or wrote it or whatever you say has a connection with their really higher self and there's amazing music in there even though some of the songs are in English and some of them are not when I hear it my heart soars it really does like you know when you're watching you know when you listen to music and you get those tingles and you just feel fantastic that's what this whole movie did for me so I really hope some of you will go out there and watch it and tell me what you thought about it because for those of you who are struggling with like serious um, deep religious beliefs um, you know and struggling with the spiritual side of things and and all that it is so fantastic and even in in this book it talks about about a lot of religion is just a whole collection of egos trying to get power and all that sort of stuff and and that if we all realize that there's room for all the different religions but just to be good with it and to be kind and to be nice not to have all this oh if you do this then this is going to happen to you and oh it's something i don't believe so I'm sorry if you do, but you know, this is the book to read. It is awesome. I so can't wait for Oprah to do her um, her course on it. I hope I'm going to be up. I hope it's not going to be like three in the morning for me or something. Um, there's so much more I want to talk about, but I haven't been out of this room yet today and I need to, to get out and do some exploring. So go and get that movie as it is in heaven. I think it's Danish because they say I elska die and that means I love you in Danish because I remember from when I was an exchange student we all used to talk about the different words for I love you so there we are um, have a happy day everybody and let me know if you've if some of you may have seen that movie apparently it's very very popular I had never heard of it before okay bye